Forget snowmobiles for a second. This is how we really move across the Antarctic ice. Piston bullies and heck loons. They are big, tracked, noisy machines made to survive whiteouts in minus 40 degrees Celsius. They are old and look like something out of a 60s sci-fi films, but we drive them ourselves. Yes, scientists drive these things. Before we can move an inch, we run a checklist. Check engine oil, fuel level, battery, lights, radio, emergency kit, shovel, yes, really. Heckloons have two cabins on trucks made by a Swedish company. Great for people, but not for gear. Piston bullies, one cabin, still limited space. That's why we prefer snowmobiles and pull sleds. Driving on the ice requires training. We follow marked flags, monitor ice conditions, and always have emergency kits on board. Conditions can go from clear to white out in minutes. After the field work, we refuel, clean up, and log all the details for the next science team. So next time you think scientists just sit in labs, remember, we also drive tanks across the ice.